This is for the ethics review class at Parker University. The third element of a chiropractic malpractice claim is proximate cause. The negligence of the doctor has to proximately cause the patient's damages. Proximate cause is a specific legal term which essentially has two elements. The first element of proximate cause is there has to be an actual cause. The, the breach has to actually and directly cause the damages to the patient. Sometimes the cause may start a chain reaction and if it's a chain reaction that has to occur before the patient gets injured or if there's a number of things that have to occur before the negligence causes an injury then it may not be enough of a relationship or it may not be enough of a substantial factor to meet the proximate cause test. The other element of proximate cause is foreseeability. The person who commits the negligence has to be able to foresee that their negligence may result in the injury that occurs. Uh, so for example, a chiropractor who chooses not to x-ray patients, it should be foreseeable that they may perform adjustments when the patient has previous fractures uh, or may perform adjustments that could cause injuries as a result of that. On the other hand, there are other situations where it may not be foreseeable. There may be, again, too many causes or too many links in the chain before the patient actually suffers an injury. Uh, proximate cause, like negligence, is typically proven through expert witnesses. Uh, both sides will usually have an expert witness who will testify not only whether the doctor was negligent, whether he provided the standard of care appropriate for the profession, but both sides will also have an expert, often the same expert, who will also testify whether that breach of duty proximately caused damages to the patient. Was it a direct cause and a substantial factor in the, causing the damages? And was it foreseeable that the negligence would cause that injury?